Today, guys, we will be learning how to figure out what size junction box you guys need while you're running your conduit. Now, listen, this has been talked about on job after job, and I like it when I'm even now we're working, not right now, but you know, like when I'm talking to other electricians that have been in the trade for years, and I love it when they say, well, we got to run a two inch. Uh, you know, blah, 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 you know, I guess, well, what do you think? Uh, 24 inch box? And I'm thinking, whew, yeah, if you're paying for it, because that is not the right size. Now, will it work? Hell yeah, it'll work. Is it the right size? No. Let me show you guys exactly how to figure out the minimum you need. Now, 24 is perfect. I mean, the bigger, the better, right? I mean, look at me. So what we're going to do, we're going to, let's just say we have a box here, all right? Plain and simple. Let me stop right here and say this right here. When do you need to put a box? So I hear so many people throwing out so many different measurements. All right, listen, I was always taught you don't go more than 100 foot without a box. Is that good? Yeah. I mean, think about it. How long is your fish tape? All right, they do sell 240 foot fish tapes. Have you ever tried to push all 240 foot of a fish tape in a conduit? Let me tell you, I don't give a crap who you are. It sucks ass, plain and simple. Done it. Yes, I've done it. It sucks. If you run aluminum rigid conduit, aluminum rigid, you will know that if you go that far with a fish tape inside of it, it is, you can get in there. It's almost impossible. The best thing to do is just blow a string in it. But 100 foot, let's just, if you're gonna do it, if it was me, I tried not to go any more than 100 foot. I mean, you know, you can go a little more. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, you can go further. But think about your fish tape. I mean, 100 foot is a good number. Now, bigger conduit, you can go a little further because more than likely you're probably gonna be sucking a rope through it. So, you know, to pull, especially if you got two inch, you know, you've got. If you're pulling feeders in, you know, you're not going to be pulling, you know, with the fish tape. I mean, if you are, then you're probably working for the wrong company. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with that. So just remember that if, if it was me, this is just my own personal opinion. Nothing really says you have to do it, but just think of ease for yourself. All right. hundred foot. That's what I would do. All right. So this is your box. We don't know what size we need, right? Because we don't know. We're going to now, this is going to be a straight pull. So we're going to figure out and tell you exactly what you need. So, the magic number. Let's just say this is a two inch conduit right here, right? I got two inch here and two inch here. I'll tell you what, let, let's, let's, do, let's do this different. Let's do a three inch conduit. So let's do, I don't know why I erased it. I mean, it's, that doesn't, whatever. All right, so this, what a dummy. So this is a three inch conduit, all right? It doesn't matter if it's EMT, rigid, whatever, but that's three inches, all right? And this is gonna be a straight pull because you see it's going straight in, straight out. Now, this is because you would need a pull point because obvious reasons, right? It's too far. So, so what is the magic number? How do you figure out what size box you need? Well, it's easy. If you look on your code book at 31428A1, so let me write it down so you guys will know, 31428A1. All right, if you go there, it tells you exactly what I'm gonna tell you. All right, so the multiplier is eight. All right, why is that? That's just because of what it is. So what you'll do is you'll take, because it's only a straight pull, you're just gonna take one of these. So it'd be eight times three, because eight is the size that you need. That's your multiplier. Eight times three is 49. <laughs> Whatever, you old baronet. What the hell's wrong with you? It's 24. All right, so you'll need from here to here a 24 inch box. Now that's what I said earlier, right? But I was talking about two inch, but I'm, I'm just showing you. So if this was a four inch, right? It'd be eight times four. Eight times four is, why'd I make that face? 32. So you need a 32 inch box, all right? It's pretty easy. So guys, if you do like this, this kind of stuff right here, Simple stuff. This is this is stuff that you guys got to know. You have to know. This is a code question in your test. If you're gonna test, and this is something that you got to know. So now, 
let's say you have a box and you have a three inch coming in here and a three inch coming out this way. So you're gonna make basically a right angle or a left angle or left angle, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so you still have a three inch. All right, you're coming in, going out. Now, how do you figure that one out? Well, that is another video, guys. So you're gonna have to definitely like and subscribe for that one. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.